hey everyone welcome back to my channel i am piyush goel and today we are going to dive into the topic of modules in tipco business work 6 before we jump in i want to give a shout out to all the amazing viewers your comment and supports have been incredible and it keeps me inspired to create the content that's valuable for you if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out our deep dives into the world of tipco and beyond and hey, if you have got any questions as we go through this or there is a specific TIPCO topic you want me to cover in future videos, drop a comment below. I love hearing from you and your feedback shapes the content on this channel. Alright, enough talking. Let's get into the nitty gritty of TIPCO Business Works. Grab your virtual notebook and let's dive right in. So you might be wondering what is a module? A module contains a subset of business work solutions. So there are three types of module. So the first one is application module. Second one is shared module. And the third one is the binary shared module. So application module. So it is a basic building block of business works. It contains the processes that are used to start the application. Like those pro processes are also known as starter processes. An application module cannot be deployed by itself in active matrix business works runtime and work. It must be packaged as part of an application. Each application module is packaged as an application EAR and can include one or more shared modules. The shared module. It contains the shared object that may be used by one or more application modules. Those shared module include sub processes, schema files, visual files or connection resources. A shared module can be dependent on other shared modules. A shared module cannot be deployed by itself. It must be included in an application module and then that application module will be packaged as an application so that an EAR can be generated. So this is a relationship between application and shared module. You can see the screen. So a application module can be dependent on multiple shared module and those shared module can be shared across multiple application module and shared module can also be again dependent on one or more shared other shared modules binary shared module it is created to hide the implementation details of a shared module from its consumer so it is just a shared module it just it does not have all the details like the consumer are not aware about the details how that is implemented but they can use its you know its feature it is compiled into a binary format for use by another application so there are key features and advantages of using binary shared module. It provides a way to share the standalone functionality without expo exposing the details, which I also explained earlier. It serves as a protective layer, allowing user to interact with the functionality without showing the underlying implementation. There are also similarities between application and a shared module. So both contains and special files and folder, which I will show you in a practical session. Both contains process definitions. Both contains two special file. The first one is a module descriptor and second one is the build properties file. Yes, thank you guys. That is all for today.